guess what? We got another monster truck from Hot Wheels. This is Necessary Roughness from Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. No need talking about the package. Same as the others. And that one that's blotted out, yeah, that's Necessary Roughness. I'm collecting them. More bios. Okay, the crash attack makes no sense. Anyway, let's unbox this thing. Here we go. Do not worry, everything goes into the recycling after these videos. I do not wish to harm the environment. So, necessary roughness and the car. Again, the car can connect with the other cars to make complex structures. Enough about the car. Let's talk about this little beauty. I gotta say that this has to be one of the most visually appealing trucks I have ever seen. So, let's go to a close-up camera and get a closer look at it. Take it away, future me! Thanks, me, from .2 seconds ago. So, to get a close-up on this truck, I think it is beautiful. The design looks amazing with all kinds of, like, body parts of, like, the Loch Ness Monster kind of coming out. I love this design. It's so pretty. The tires, same thing. But unlike other Hot Wheels trucks, they got the, they got an extra colored, like, ring around the rims, which I really do like. If we go to the hood, you get the Loch Ness Monster kind of on the front being amazing and all. The roof just has, like, a, a map. I don't know what it's trying to, oh, now I get it. It's a map of Scotland where Nessie is there. Sides practically the same thing. Not much is different. Back you get the same name. Engine looks pretty good. I gotta say this is a very pretty truck to look at. It's very artistic, which I do like a lot. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on Necessary Roughness? I think the name is a little bit hard like, not hard, but just complicated. But the design is very artistic. I love it. It's amazing. Tiger Shark, it kind of, it's up there with Tiger Shark. Tiger Shark's more of, like, realness as well as being, like, shaped properly. But Necessary Roughness for a pickup-style truck, it's so beautiful. I really recommend hunting this down. It's a very rare truck that most people won't be able to see. But lucky for me, I was able to find it. I am so happy I got this one. Post, post your comment saying what trucks I should unbox in a future episode of Monster Truck Unboxing. And if we're done with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.